ஓம் ஸ்ருதிஸ்மிருதி புராணம் ஆலயம் கருணாலயம் நமா விபகவத்பாதம் சங்கரம் லோகசங்கரம் சங்கரம் சங்கராச்சாரியம் கேசவம் பாதராயணம் சூத்திரபாஷ்யவ் வந்தே பகவந்தௌ புன புன ஈஸ்வரோ குருராத்மேதி மூர்த்தி பேத விபாகினே யோமவியாப்தேகாய தட்சிணாமூர்த்தே நம சனாவது சனௌனக்து ச வீரியம் கரவாவே தேஜஸ்வினாவதீதமஸ்துமாவித்துஷாவே ஓம் சாந்தாந்தி ஓம் நாராயண பரோ வியக்தா அண்டமவியம் அண்டசியாந்தஸ்திமேலோகா சப்தீபாச்சமேதினி தாத்துப்பிரம்மைவ சம்போக்தோ ஜீவ ஆக்கியாத்தமுச்சதே பிரகிருதிக்கிருசுபந்தாதிர்தாத்துப்பிரம்மாத்மனே நம So we finish the uh, Bhashya on 2.10 and which is uh, kind of a introduction uh, which shows the commitment of Gita Shastra and in that light the rest of the Gita or the entire Gita teaching has to be understood. So Bhagavan has shown two ways, two types of commitments based on based on one's own choices based on one's own choices the mind is clouded with a particular uh, thinking a particular path is thought by a person as befitting to himself or herself based on that either the pravritti is either it the engagement is in pravritti marga or one withdraws and then there is nivritti marga these are the only two two ways there are no different types of yoga actually yoga is karma yoga and uh, sankhya or buddhi which is jnana so either jnana marga or karma marga and in karma marga when karma is said that is yoga or yoga marga which is karma yoga these are the two ways which are taught by bhagavan and it will be clear as we move ahead now bhagavan begins his teaching to arjuna so what has been said uh, earlier the earlier shloka in continuation tamu vacha hrishikesha prahasanniva bharata senayo rubhayor madhye vishidantam idam vacha so uh, uh, he bharata sanjay is telling dhritarashtra tam arjunam hrishikesha uvacha prahasanniva as though smiling because he says what kind of a time is this for you to raise such a question you know i mean just thinking aloud that uh, as sena yor ubhayor madhye that's why sena yor ubhayor madhye vishidantam you are at this point of time point of no return where shanka has been blown and now you are confused deluded and you uh, say that so much of shoka is there vishidantam arjunam tam uvacha rishikesha uvacha and prahasaniva that's why he is smiling he is not laughing at him he is smiling as to what kind of a setup that i have to teach you and bring you out of this shoka so it's it appears funny you know even for an onlooker who does not know anything he'll say what he gave atmajnana on uh, the battlefield it appears very funny so that's one way we can look at it it is not funny but because I have, as initially i had mentioned that uh, the uh, uh the life itself is uh, the mana hai chanchala and the there is always dwandva there is always dwandva yuddha going on in the mind throughout the life for everyone some kind of yuddha is always there there are very few people who do not have issue with dharma and adharma or what i need to do uh, people are not delivered there are very few people like that most of us are confused in uh, throughout our life we are confused and then we have to use our buddhi so tatra evam dharma sammuda chetasah mithya jnanavatah mahati shoka sagare nimagnasya arjunasya anyatra atma jnanat uddharanam apashyan bhagavan vasudevah tata krupaya arjunam uddadhir uddidharayishuh atma jnanaya avatarayan aah so tatra evam uh, on the battlefield tatra evam in this manner what has happened dharma sammuda chetah chetasah arjuna is dharma sammuda cheta chetah and uh, this is a bahuri dharma uh, dharme vishaye dharme vishaye sammudham 
Chetaha Yasya uh, Arjunasya. So that Arjuna is Dharma Samuda Chetaha in, in Prathama Ekvachana. In Shashti Ekvachana it will become Dharma Samuda Chetasaha. And similarly Michya Jnana Vataha, Michya Jnana Vaan uh, Matupantha and Shashti Ekvachana is Michya Jnana Vataha. Mithya jnana is, uh, there is, Mithya is actually delusion. Here it is Adhyasa, misunderstanding, erroneous understanding. So his conclusion, so Mithya jnana is what? Erroneous understanding. Due to that delusion, there is a, there is an erroneous conclusion. That is Mithya jnana. And that kind of Mithya jnana Arjuna has. Therefore he is Mithya jnana van. And in Shashti, Arjunasya, Arjunasya, who is what? Dharma Samuda Chetaha and Mithya Jnana Vaan. Tasya, Arjunasya, Dharma Samuda Chetasaha, Mithya Jnana Vataha, Arjunasya, who is for what? Nimagna. He is Nimagna. So, Nimagnasya, Arjunasya, to Arjuna, who is Nimagna. Nimagna as in, he is drowned. Drowned in what? Drowned in Shoka Sagara. Poetically, an ocean of grief, you know, uh, like an ocean of grief, it is, that grief is so, so much that it is like uh, an ocean of grief. And what kind of, is it, is it uh, a, you know, just a, uh, is it a sea? It's an ocean. It's a Mahasagara, therefore, Mahati Shoka Sagare. So, Arjuna, who is in such kind of a grief, due to this Mithya, so this is, uh, this is a Hetu Garva Visheshan and why there is Mithya Jnana? Because the Dharma Vishaya Sammuda Cheta, Sammudam Chetaha. He ha his mind is, is clouded with Arun, uh, is clouded due to delusion. So Sammuda Chetaha. Dharma Vishaya, what should be done, what should not be done. And Arjuna Sya, why did he teach Atma Jnana now? He says Anyatra Atma Jnana. Other than Atma Jnana, Uddharanam Apashyan, Uddharanam. So Uddhara, you say that uh, his welfare or well-being, Arjuna's well-being, Arjunasya uh, Anyatra, Atma Jnana Anyatra Arjunasya Uddharanam Apashyan. Apashyan is na Apashyan, without, uh, not seeing. So Bhagavan not seeing, Bhagavan Vasudevaha Apashyan. Not seeing, not seeing what uddharanam, well-being or uh, what kind of uddhara is actually upliftment, upliftment from grief. So, atma jnana tanyatra, other than atma jnana he will not, why? Because he has already said, even if I get swarga, I do not want it. Even if I get all three lokas, I do not want it. Because I do not see how this kind of grief, which I have never felt, how I will come out of this. Because right now, if I get involved in the battle, I'll have to kill my gurus and uh, Guru Staniya, everyone and relatives and uh, even Bhishma Pitama Ityadi. So on one hand, this is the situation. On the other hand, other hand, I, I don't know as in I have, I have thought well and then come to the battlefield. So I know that on the other hand, I need to fight because it's a, uh, it's my Kartavya Karma. But now, he has concluded that I want to, I don't want to fight. So this confusion has led to an erroneous conclusion and he says that nothing can take away my grief. So what is that nothing? Whatever he knows, he knows, uh, he does not have Atma Jnana. So Atma Jnana alone can bring him out of this cure. This is Bhagwan's thinking. So Arjuna Sya, Atma Jnana Anyatra Uddharanam Apashyan, Kasya Uddharanam Arjunasya and what kind of Arjuna? All these Visheshanas. So therefore Bhagavan Vasudevaha Tata Krupaya Arjunam Uddhidhara Shehu. So to, uh, with a desire, with a desire, uh, who is Vasudeva? Vasudeva is one who has the desire to uplift Arjuna through compassion or due to compassion, Krupaya. Atma Jnanaya Avatarayan Aha to bring him to Atma Jnana. Avatarayan is to causative to bring him. So Avatara is what? Avatara is what 
comes down. Avatara definition is avatarati. Avatarati means comes down. Comes down from a higher plane of existence, uh, from higher satta to this vyavaharika satta. Therefore, all these are called as avataras. Krishna, Rama, Ityadi. They are avataras because from a higher satta they come to the lower satta. So, avatara, avatara. And here, so that is coming down, coming down or getting into. Here, this what does mean? It means that Atma Jnanaya Tadarthi Chaturthi for the purpose of Atma Jnana Avatarayan bringing down. So, Arjuna bringing into uh, the Arjuna Uddhidharishu Atma Jnana Avatarayan. Ah, he said what? Shri Bhagavan Vacha Ashochyan Ashochyananva Sochastvam Pradnyavadan Shabhasha Se Gata Sunagata Suncha Nanu Sochanti Panditaha. So, 2.11 says, it's gone across, uh, across the pages, okay. okay, so let's say, let's take the entire thing there. Okay, Ashochyan Anvasochastvam. Ashochyan Anvasochaha Tvam Pragnyavadan Cha Bhasha Se Gata Soon Agata Soon Cha Na Anusochanti Panditaha. So Asochyan is, so we'll start with, see, let me mark the cases. Tom. So, uh, see, Asochyan and Pradnyavadan is Dvitiya Bhuvachana Tom Bhasha Se. Latlakara Madhya Purusha Ekvachana. You are you are talking or you are uttering what? Pradnyavadan. And Tom. Tom Anvasochaha. Anvasocha is also Madhya Purusha Ekvachana. But which lakara? It's a it's lang lakara. Anu Asochaha. Asochaha is the Anu Purvaka Asochaha. So there is a sandhi here, anva, anva, anva shochaha. So you, you are grieving, so uh, you are aggrieved, so you are aggrieved or you are uh, following what, following ashochyan. So basically langlakara, but it's in, it's in meaning of, it shows grief in the past because he is already ag aggrieved, but in grief, so you can say that you, you are in grief, you can take in Latartha also, that you are, you are grieving for those who should not be grieved for. So, Ashochyan, Na Sochyan, Na Sochyan, Nanjitat Purusha, Sochya is those who should be grieved for, Ashochyaha. Ashochya is Ashochyaha and Ashochya is those who should not be grieved for. So, you are grieving for those who should not be grieved for and then on top of that, Pradnyavadancha Bhasha se. You also, I mean, you talk about lot of uh, vada, as in you, you are talking about things, prajna vada, you are talking about things which are uh, embedded with knowledge, as in dharma shastra, you are talking about dharma shastra. So, prajna vada, only those who have prajna, they can talk about uh, those things. But now, you are talking about prajna vada and you are grieving. So, you are you are not walking the talk, oh, sorry, uh, you are not walking, yeah, you are not walking the talk, you are walking as in uh, mentally, mentally you are not walking the talk, you are grieving, but then you talk about big things. So, indirectly what, uh, we will see what is the meaning here when we look at the second, second half. Gata sun, agata sun cha, 
न अनुशोचन्ति पंडिताः सो पंडिताः पंडिताज दोज हु आर दोज हु आर एक्चुअली क्वालिफाइड टू टॉक अवर प्रज्ञावाद हु आर दोज दो आर पंडिताज पंडास्य संजाता इति पंडिताः सो पंडास्य संजाता दिस इज नॉट तांता एज इन इट्स नॉट इट्स अ देयर इज अ प्रत्यय इतच प्रत्यय व्हिच इज इन द मीनिंग ऑफ समथिंग इज बोर्न सो समथिंग इज बोर्न सो पंडा अस्य संजाता पंडा इज नॉलेज नॉलेज इज बोर्न टू अ पर्सन दैट पर्सन इज कॉल्ड एज अ पंडित सो पंडिताः प्लूरल पंडिताः न अनुसूचन्ति यू आर ग्रीविंग बट पंडिताज डू नॉट ग्रीव मीनिंग वॉट यू आर नॉट अ पंडित दैट्स द मीनिंग हियर सो प्रज्ञावादांश भाषा से मीन्स यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट थिंग्स यू डोंट हैव एनी नॉलेज ऑफ रियली सो इट एपियर्स दैट यू हैव प्रज्ञा एंड देर फोर यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट प्रज्ञा प्रज्ञावादा बट यू डू नॉट हैव क्वालिफिकेशन इन दैट बिकॉज पंडित न अनुसूचंती कान न अनुसूचंती गतासून अगत गतासून च गतासून एंड अगत असून सो यू सी गत एंड असून गत गत असून दिस इज समासा गत असू एंड इन प्लुरल गत असू लाईक गुरून द प्रातिपदिक गतासू गतासू इज वॉट एंड हियर यू सी तांता तांता इज अज इन पूर्वपदा मीनिंग बहुरी सो दिस अ बहुरी which means what asu asu is uh, it's it means prana asu asu is a uh, asu asu is a uka u pratyanta with as dhatu as is uh, as bhuvi as a bhuvi bhuvi means to in uh, bhu sattayam in the meaning of existence bhuvi is so as is in the meaning of bhu bhu is the meaning of satta meaning in, a, in the meaning of existence and existence means one exist due to which that will become asu with u pratyaya in the in karne vitpatti so asyate anena iti asu asyate anena karma so one lives due to this what is that pranah so asyate anena iti asu and what is that asu pranah that is the meaning prana so gata asun will mean was gata means gone gone prana what does that mean prana has gone away from whom so therefore the samasa is gata ha gata ha asavah yebhyah yebhyah panchami vibhakti te gata savah लाइक गुरव गुरु 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 गुरव सो हियर गता सव आर दोज पीपल हूज प्राणा हैव गॉन अवे मीनिंग वॉट मृता दोज हु आर डेड दैट्स वॉट द मीनिंग इज सो पंडिता दोज हु आर रियली नॉलेजेबल पीपल दोज हु आर वाइज दोज हु आर विजडम दे डू नॉट ग्रीव फॉर सो दे डू नॉट ग्रीव फॉर सो अनु अनु विल गिव दैट कैंड ऑफ अ मीनिंग सो फॉलोइंग some some something following what therefore anu governs second case so anu sochanti kam or kan anu na anu sochanti they don't grieve whom so they don't grieve the dead or or living both so where can the grief come from either it can come from a living person or a dead person dead person as in due to death not like bhuta pishach although of course that may also be possible but uh, one grieves when a person is gone from one's life one is dead or a living person you wish that person dead an enemy you wish i mean he is giving so much of trouble so in both cases the panditas do not grieve so that is the meaning of mrata here those who are dead and what is gatas agatasun agatasun is nan chat purusha na gata gatasun na gatasun agatasun i'll directly do it in the second case here you have to say tan tan in second case plural gata sava tan gata sun 
So what is the anvaya here? I'll make the second line first easier. Pandita ha gata soon because that's the reasoning. Gata soon. Gata soon. Agata soon cha na anushochanti. But tantu, on the other hand, you, what do you do? You grieve for them. So ashochyan. Tom Anva Shochaha. Actually, easier to put Tom earlier because we put Karta earlier. Either way, is, it's okay, but I'll put Tom earlier so that we have a system of thinking. Tom Anva Shochaha. You, you grieved. Actually, you are aggrieved, or uh, you can take in Latlakara kind of meaning. You are grieving. So, uh, so you, you are grieving for whom Ashochyan or uh, Anva Sochaha, so Anu Gavan second case, therefore Ashochyan. Tom Ashochyan Anva Sochaha, and not only that, what Prajna Prajna Vadan Cha Bhasha say. So it's contradictory. That is what delusion is. You say something and you do something else. So that's the idea here. Okay, so actually uh, I don't remember what. Uh, I'll, I'll format it later. Okay. So that's the idea here. I've copied it from Advaita Sharda website, so you have these uh, links as well. Since we have to type, I, I need uh, Bhashya here. So the Sangati Bhashya, Kutaste Ashochyaha, why do you say they are not to be grieved for? Why are these people who are dead or alive, they sh why should they not be grieved for? What is the reason that they are not ones who should be grieved for? There should be some reason. Yato nityaha. Why? Because they are nityaha. Atma, you are actually you are crying for atma. Atma is nitya. Yato nitya. Yataha is yasmat. Yasmat karanat nityaha. Tasmat. Te ashochya. Kutaha is kasmat karanat. Kasmat karanat te ashochya ha bhavanti. Yataha te nitya bhavanti. Kasmat karanat ashochya ha bhavanti. Katham, how, katham what? Katham ashochya ha. How is it that they are, sorry, not kasham, katham ashochya, uh, katham nitya ha. How do you say that they are nitya? I'll not translate nitya ityadi, assuming all understand that. Of course, in Vedanta there is a particular uh, meaning, but Nitya is permanent, they are permanent. Because, why? Natve vaham jatunasam natvanne me janadipaha nacheva nacheva navavishyama sarve vayamataparam. Why? He gives the reason as to why they are Nityaha. He says, the reasoning is what? Uh, so what happened? Okay, I've forgotten uh, shortcut keys. Okay, natu natu eva aham jatu jatu is an avyaya which means kadachit. So jatu means kadachit. Kadachit means what? At any point of time, at no point of at kadachit means at some point of time, at some point of time na it will go with na. So I'll explain that how na na asam kadachit jatu na asam natam na ime janadipaha nacha eva na bhavishyamaha sarve vayam. Ataf param. So, na, tu, eva, all these avyayas, aham. Jatu is an avyaya to mean kadachit, na, asam. So, double negative. What is that asam? As dhatu. Asam lang lakara. Uh, lang lakara uttav purusha ekvachana. So, it is not na tu, aham. So, I will just uh, explain with an anvaya. Aham 
द मीनिंग विल बी वॉट अहम आसम अहम आसम आई वॉज देर I was there, and what is he saying? Aham, aham, no asam. See, I can without adding, I can just adding any words. I can say no aham asam, no. So double negative meaning what? Aham asam. I was there. It is not that I was not there. That's what he is saying with double negatives. You know, it is not that I was not there. and therefore nitya so your uh, understanding of i may be wrong but it is not that you were not there that's what he is trying to explain he starts by saying na hum asam iti na so iti if you add it is more clear aham na asam so na hum asam or then you can shift back this with the verb aham na asam iti na that i was not there it's not so meaning i was there when jatu aham jatu jatu means kadachit never jatu na asam aham jatu na asam iti na what about okay it uh, maybe krishna was there what about me arjuna thinking is natu eva aham jatu na asam natvam न इमे जनादिप सो यू डोंट नीड टू थिंक दैट ओनली आई वॉज इट इज नॉट दैट आई वॉज नॉट देर आई वॉज इट इज नॉट दैट आई वॉज नॉट देर मीनिंग वॉट इट इज नॉट दैट आई अलोन एम नित्या यू आर ऑल्सो नित्या दीज जनाधिपाज आर ऑल्सो नित्या सो ही सेंग अहम जातु न असम अहम जातु न असम इति न तम तम न बट आसम यू हैव टू चेंज दी पर्सन नाउ यू हैव टू चेंज दी पर्सन बिकॉज ही इज टेलिंग दैट यू इट इज नॉट दैट यू आर नॉट देर सो फ्रॉम आई वॉज नॉट देर इट इज नॉट दैट आई वॉज नॉट देर यू हैव टू मेक द स्टेटमेंट एज एंड यू इट इज नॉट दैट यू आर नॉट देर सो यू वेर देर सो हाउ विल यू से विद अ मध्य पुरुष एक वचन ऑफ आस धातु लंग लकार सो आसी ही आई थिंक so tum na asihi iti na and you are not there you were not there that is also not the case what about these kings janadipa jananam adhipaha so rulers of people jananam jananam adhipaha rulers of the people meaning king what about them ime these so pratyaksha right in front of us janadhipaha इमे जनादिपा न एंड इन प्लूरल हियर ऑल्सो यू हैव टू यू हैव टू चेंज दी पुरुष सो आसन आई थिंक इट विल बी आसन प्रथम पुरुष बहुवचन इमे जनादिपा न आसन इन सो इति न एंड देन यू कैन एड दिस टू एव वेर एवर यू यू फाइंड सो वेर एवर यू फील इट्स better so aham because see number of na we are going to fall short of we will have to supply those because by bringing anuvrutti so and ja, jatu will also correct with everyone aham tu jatu na asam iti na tom na asi jatu na asi iti na ime janadipa ha jatu na asan iti na so we were always there all of us were always there so existed and then not only that so it's a long sentence we have to keep on adding because he says what see right now we are there there's no doubt so you don't need to question the present tense what is being questioned is that we were not there earlier and he is not even questioning we were not there earlier he is questioning uh, that we will not be we as in uh, they will not be he shoka is because his uh, his acharyas ityadi are not going to be there and instead of talking about acharyas only he is talking about everyone he saying that it is not that you are going to die i am going to die they are going to die because atma is nitya and not only that it is going to be nitya right now it is nitya 
and it was always nitya that's what the definition of nitya is permanent is says it is not going to become permanent what is impermanent can never become permanent by saying that we will always be we we were always there and we will always be it can current is anyway included so nacha nacha eva nacha eva nacha eva bhavish vayam vayam sarve vayam sarve वयम सर्वे न भविष्याम इति न अतः परम व्हेन अतः परम आफ्टर दिस अय अतः परम सॉरी अतः परम अतः परम इज व्हाट आफ्टर दिस सो दिस इज पंचमी तसिलंत परम अतः परम आफ्टर दिस आफ्टर दिस व्हाट वयम अतः परम वयम सर्वे न च सो दिस अतः परम this can go in second case because vayam vayam is in first case plural we all atah param na bhavishyama vayam sarve all of us not only you or them or i alone all of us atah param vayam sarve na cha bhavishyamaha bhavishyamaha iti na and it is not that will not be there अतः परम वयम सर्वे एव एव यू कैन ऐड हियर एव न च भविष्याम इति न एंड इट इज नॉट दैट विल नॉट बी देयर एट ऑल दैट इज आल्सो नॉट ट्रू मीनिंग व्हाट वी वेर देयर वी विल बी देयर दैट्स ऑल इट ऑल दिस मींस इज दैट वी वेर ऑलवेज देयर एंड वी विल बी देयर सो दैट इज व्हाई नित्या दैट दैट इज हाउ ही डिराइव्स द मीनिंग ऑफ नित्या एंड कनेक्ट्स इट टू द अर्लियर वर्ड अर्लियर वर्ड्स तत्र कथम इव नित्या आत्मा इति दृष्टांत माह सो आत्मा इज नित्या यू आर सेइंग दैट वी आर ऑल नित्या सो नाउ गिव मी एन एग्जांपल दैट मे बी द थिंकिंग ऑफ अर्जुन सो भगवान गिव्स हिम द एग्जांपल तत्र कथम इव कथम इव मींस लाइक व्हाट लाइक व्हाट नित्या आत्मा इज नित्या इति दृष्टांत माह दृष्टांत माह एग्जांपल ही गिव्स एन एग्जांपल देहि नोस्मिन यथा देहे कौमारं यौवनंजरा तथा देहांतर प्राप्ति तथा देहांतर प्राप्ति धीरस्तत्र न मुयति सो देहि नोस्मिन यथा देहे कौमारं यौवनंजरा तथा देहांतर प्राप्ति धीरस्तत्र न मुयति देहि नह देहिन सॉरी देहिन देह अस्य अस्ति इति देही मतु परतेनी अस्मिन यथा ओके लेट मी मार्क द केसेस अलोंग सो आई डोंट हैव टू कम बैक अस्मिन यथा देहे कौमारम यौवनम जरा तथा सिमिलरली तथा देहांतर प्राप्ति देहांतर प्राप्ति ही धीरह धीरह तत्र न मुयति ओके सो देही न देहस्य अस्ति इति देही तस्य देही न सो फॉर अ पर्सन हु हैज देह हु इज दैट आत्मा एसोसिएट्स विद द देह देयरफॉर आत्मा इज नॉट द देह देह इज फॉर द जीवात्मा देयरफॉर दिस आत्मा इज देही देही न आत्मनः सो देही न आत्मनः अस्मिन इन दिस यथा सो यथा यथा एग्जाम्पल इट्स एन दृष्टांत राइट सो देर फोर यथा यथा ऑल दिस इन फर्स्ट केस यथा क 
கௌமாரம் யௌவனம் ஜரா சோ ஜஸ்ட் லைக் கௌமாரம் as in childhood yauvanam the uh, when a person is going through the young age and just like jara so yauvanam is what youth yeah youth so kavaram is the childhood yauvanam is youth and jara is old age so there are these three stages of life he is talking about uh, and in those three stages how the body changes so what is that youthfulness of or the childishness of it is of the body old age is also for the body so yatha asmin dehe asmin dehe in this very body asmin dehe you see youthfulness as well as child you see the childhood uh, youth as well as old age in this body yatha for whom is that all this asmin dehe kaumaram yovanam jara देहिनह जस्ट लाइक फॉर सो फॉर दी देही फॉर दी देही जस्ट लाइक देह इन दिस बॉडी देर इज देर आर चेंजेस देर आर दीज चेंजेस एंड सी वॉट इज ही आस्किंग द क्वेश्चन इज वॉट तत्र कथम नित्य कथम नित्य दृष्टांत जस्ट लाइक दिस देही डज नॉट चेंज देही इज नित्य because for in childhood were you different if you were different in childhood then how do you know that you are the same one who is old now or is uh, in youth in in youth in, so you don't know uh, if the person had been different you wouldn't have known if if you have had been different in your childhood we say that i have changed and all that but what has changed really body has changed mind has changed intellect has changed but you have not changed this is what is called as uh, um, what is it called it is called uh, it will come to me i wanted to use a technical word there but uh, i mean memory fails me so um, you know that you have been the same individual who has had different stages of life therefore you are nitya so uh, katham iv like what he is saying just like other this day for a dehi deha changes kaumaram yovanam jara are seen in this body but you do not change tatha dehantara prapti now he says just like your body is actually changing how do you say changing science says that it is not really changing overall it appears to be changing but what is really happening the cells are dying and you are and new cells are being generated thereby just like this body is the uh, childhood body was different than the youth body because the entire body has changed by the time you have uh, become a young person by the time you reach old age cells are may not be uh, uh, replaced at such a frequency but then still most of your uh, earlier cells have died you are a new person altogether really body wise then how is it different uh, the way you give up your childhood body if you take a longer span of time not every day that childhood body is really gone the young body is a new body and then the new body young body is gone and the old age body is another new body so the way the body has changed even in this very life it has changed for you but you have not changed similarly dehantara prapti as in across janmas also there is another body why are you crying for the body going because it has already gone the body that you are seeing bhishma pitama's body that has already gone so are you crying for the body or are you crying for the atma if you are crying for the body the body anyway is changing anyway it has the childhood body has died he has got a young young age body then that has died he has got a old age body whoever all your gurus so are you crying for that 
then you should have cried earlier as well no then why are you crying because another body they are going to get after death of this body of this old age body they are going to get a new body an infant's body elsewhere in some other in in another janma in another sharira they will be reborn they will continue therefore you should not cry for that now if you are crying for atma the dehi is same throughout the childhood young age and old age and it will continue to be so in the next janma also then you should not be crying for atma also so you should not be crying for anatma you should not be crying for atma you should not cry you should not grieve at all why are you grieving that is the idea here and the example is given in this manner dehantara is a samas again uh, it's a anya deha dehantaram and dehantara prapti dehantarasya prapti hi shashti tat purusha and this is karma dharaya but a karma dharaya with a very different uh, vigraha vakya therefore it is mayur vyamsaka dhiraha tatra namuyati so tasmin vishaye tatra is sap, uh, vishaye saptami tasmin vishaye dhiraha namuyati they do not get deluded they do not get deluded with what with the idea that dehantara prapti meaning another life is uh, is sorrowful they don't think that another getting another life Uh, the person dies they don't grieve about that because the person the jiva is getting another body that's all it is so therefore yatha asmin dehe kaumaram yauvanam jara dehinah bhavati tatha tatha dehinah so we can say yes yatha dehinah yatha dehinah asmin dehe kaumaram yauvanam jara bhavati individually or you can say bhavanti bhavanti also kaumaram yovanam jara cha bhavanti you can say cha with that or individually with bhavati so i'll keep it uh, bhavati tatha dehinah dehantara prapti hi bhavati so similar is the case with a new body also therefore what dhiraha so that is the reason tasmat so tasmat dhiraha panditaha panditaha na anusochanti so that idea has been explained tasmat tasmin vishaye tasmat can be added as an idea to understand or tatra tasmin vishaye tasmin vishaye dhiraha na muyati they know it but you do not know it it is clear from your grief therefore you are not a pandita so that's the 13th shloka further further bhashyakar ase yadyapi atma vinashina nimittah mohah na sambhavati nitya atma iti vijanatah so for vijanatah vijanan vijanani shatranta and tasse vijanatah for a person who is a, who knows who is knowing what is he knowing iti he is knowing atma nitya iti so nitya atma or atma nitya iti vijanatah for a person who is knowing that atma is nitya for him what for him even though yadyapi even though for a person who is knowing that atma is nitya for him atma vinash nimittah moha na sambhavati for him what is not possible moha delusion is not possible na muyati that person is not deluded therefore that delusion is not possible here he is explaining this although dhirah uh, tatra na muyati dhirah is who vijana vijanan who is that dhirah vijanan and what does he know he knows that atma is nitya therefore मोहः न संभवति तस्य मोहः न संभवति एंड व्हाट काइंड ऑफ मोह डिल्यूजन व्हिच इज आत्मविनाश निमित्तः मोह दिस इज एन एडजेक्टिव टू मोह आत्मविनाश दैट आत्मा इज गोइंग टू डाई ड्यू टू दैट सो मोह निमित्तः इज आत्मविनाश निमित्तः यस्य मोहस्य दिस इज अ बहुरी 
जस्ट अ सेकेंड या आत्म आत्मन विनाश आत्मन विनाश और विनाशम निमित्त यस्य मोहस सो दैट मोह विच इज ड्यू टू आत्म विनाश नाश ऑफ आत्मा दैट थिंकिंग दैट आत्मा विल डाई दैट कैंड ऑफ मोह इज नॉट पॉसिबल फॉर वन हु नोज दैट आत्मा इज नित्य बट तथा इवन देन शीतोष्ण सुख दुख प्राप्ति निमित्त मोह लौकिक दृश्य थे येट सो यू आर सेंग दैट पंडिता न नुसोचती धीरा न मूयती सो ओके इन दैट मैटर मे बी लेट से दे नो आत्मा इज नित्य एंड दे डोंट ग्रीव एंड दे डोंट गेट डिल्यूडेड बट देन वी सी दोज हू आर पंडिता ऑल्सो दे ही से शीतोष्ण सुख दुख प्राप्ति निमित्त मोह दृश्य थे लौकिक सो लौकिक मोह दिस इज वॉट दिस इज आध्यात्मिक यद्यपि आध्यात्मिक मोह न संभवती लौकिक तो संभवती सो यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट आत्मज्ञान एंड ही ही नोज दट आत्मा इज नित्य सो ही डज नॉट ग्रीव ओके बट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट व्यवहार व्यवहार व्यावहारिक मोह इज स्टिल देर वी सी इन पीपल हू आर विद्वान एज वेल ही सेज दो हू आर ज्ञानी इज देर ऑल्सो वी सी वॉट शीतोष्ण सुख दुख प्राप्ति निमित्त मोह डिल्यूजन ड्यू टू अटेनमेंट ऑफ सुख और दुख शीता और उष्ण सो शीतोष्ण इज वॉट कोल्ड एंड हीट कोल्ड एंड हीट इज एन पेयर ऑफ ऑपोजिट फॉर वॉट फॉर द बॉडी एंड सुख दुख इज वॉट सुख दुख इज फॉर द माइंड सो दिस कवर्स ऑल दी पेयर ऑफ ऑपोजिट फॉर द बॉडी स्थूल शरीर एंड सुख दुख कवर्स ऑल दी पेयर ऑफ ऑपोजिट फॉर दी अंतकरण सो एक्सटर्नल एंड इंटरनल एंड दीज आर उपलक्षण फॉर एवरीथिंग ऑल दी ऑपोजिट राग द्वेष इत्यादि ऑल दीज पेयर ऑफ ऑपोजिट विच कैन कॉज सुख और दुख और विच कैन एफ्लिक्ट दी बॉडी वेदर ग्रॉस बॉडी और सटल बॉडी दे एफ्लिक्ट एंड ड्यू टू दैट देर कैन बी मोह वेन अ पर्सन एटेन्स ड्यू टू एसोसिएशन विथ एनी थिंग पर्सन एटेन्स दी पेयर ऑफ ऑपोजिट देन दैट कैंड ऑफ मोह इज पॉसिबल इज सीन दृश्य एंड सुख वियोग निमित्त मोह दुख संयोग निमित्त शोक वॉट इज दैट शोक मोह ही हेज ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अर्लियर इन दि भाष्य सुख वियोग निमित्त मोह दुख वियोग निमित्त निमित्त शोक शोक इज दैट सो मोह वॉट इज मोह वॉट इज शोक शोक मोहाभ्या सेड अर्लियर ड्यू टू शोक मोह ओनली दिस संसरण इज देर ही सेज मोह विच इज निमित्त एक्चुअली मोह सुख वियोग निमित्त दिस इज तांता नॉट तांता सो निमित्त इट शुड बी एक्चुअली आई वॉज जस्ट वंडरिंग वेदर इट इज इट इज इट इज तांता देन इट कांट बी बहुरी सो वॉट वुड इट बी निमित्त मोह मोह इज निमित्त सो निमित्त हेज टू बी अंडरस्टूड वॉट कैंड ऑफ मीनिंग इट कैरीज सो सुख सुख वियोग निमित्त भोग मोह सो मोह इज एक्चुअली हियर कम बैक कम बैक टू दिस एज टू वॉट इज द मीनिंग टेक्निकली हाउ टू एनलाइज दिस समास आल टॉक अबाउट लेटर आई हैव टू थिंक ओवर दिस बट आई थिंक दी इट मेक्स सेंस दैट सुख वियोग निमित्त मोह सुख वियोग सुख वियोग इज वॉट दी एसोसिएशन एसोसिएशन विथ सुख इज गॉन एंड एसोसिएशन विथ सुख इज गॉन एंड एसोसिएशन विथ दुख हेज कम सो दुख संयोग निमित्त शोक दुख संयोग निमित्त शोक एंड सुख वियोग निमित्त मोह मोह डिल्यूजन इज ड्यू टू वॉट इज ड्यू टू बींग सेपरेटेड फ्रॉम सुख एंड शोक इज ड्यू टू वॉट ड्यू टू एसोसिएशन विथ दुख अर्जुन से वचनम आशंक्य भगवान दिस इज नॉट दिस इज नॉट ट्रू दिस कैंड ऑफ थिंकिंग कम्स फॉर एवरी वन दिस इज दट आई सी 
that even people who understand this, they are afflicted with shoka and moha. When they come in association with sukha and dukha, I see some changes in them. The onlooker's perspective is seen here. So, laukika, do you agree that laukika sukha dukha, laukika uh, shitoshna sukha dukha, prapti nimitta, moha, etc. is possible or not? I see them. So, iti etad arjunasya vachanam ashankya. Expecting this kind of a question from Arjuna, Bhagavan Aha. See, Bhagavan Bhashyakara is, is thinking as to what Bhagavan must be thinking to, to utter this next shloka. Otherwise, you cannot understand how the, he is talking about, Dehi no smin yatha de kaumara yovanam jara tatha dehantara praptis, praptir dhira satrana muyati and then, Suddenly, Matras Parshas to count a Shitoshna Sukadukada, Agama Paino Nitya, Sansitiksha So, this is the reason why he uh, talks about Matraha Sparshaha He Kaunteya. He is talking about this as Matraha. Matraha. Matra and Sparsha, Matra Sparsha to He Kaunteya, so Matra Sparsha is plural to He Kaunteya Sambodhana, Shitoshna Sukha Dukha Daha, again plural, Saman Adhikaran with Matra Sparsha. Agama Painaha again in Samana Dikran with Sparshaha Anityaha Tan Titikshaswa Lot Lakara Madhya Purusha Ekvachana Madhya Purusha Ekvachana Bharata He Bharata. Earlier Bharata was addressed by Sanjaya to Dhritarashtra. Here from Krishna to Arjuna. He Bharata. So one who is born in Bharata, in uh, Bharata Mamusha. So therefore uh, he is also Bharata. So descendant of Bharata. Matraha Sparshaha. Matraha Sparsha, this is Dvandva. Matra means what? Uh, so, see, Matra, uh, just let me, it's, it can be Shashti also, but uh, I think uh, it can be, it's better as, Imiyanti Shabda Aditi Shutra Indri, Ani Matra Nam Sparshaya, Shashti, Shashti works better. So, Shashti Tath Purusha, so Matra Sparshaha, Matra Nam Sparshaha, Matra Nam Sparshaha is what? Sparsha is contact, association, need not necessarily be touch, literal meaning is touch, but it is association with matra. With matra means what? This contact with matra. Matra are indriyas. Indriyas because, uh, see, tanmatra. Tanmatra is a subtle, uh, subtle uh, panchamahabhutas. And from those, uh, these indriyas have, are born. Indriyas are sukshma. They are Jnana uh, Indriyas especially. Jnana Indriyas are Sukshma and they are born from Tanmatras, the, uh, the uh, subtle Panchamahabhutas. And therefore they, these Indriyas are called as Matraha. And Matra now Sparshaha, Matra Sparshaha. What are these just uh, touch, just the touch of Indriyas? What are these? Shitoshna Sukha Dukha Daha Agama Painaha Anityaha Anityaha So this touch of Indriyas are Anityaha He Kaunteya Matra Sparshaha Tu Anityaha And what are these? Agama Painaha Agama Painaha means those who come and go Agama means those who come And Apainaha Apai is that which goes away so, Agama Painar and therefore Anityaha. 
these uh, as what are these basically shitoshna sukha dukha daha matra sparsha this association with indriyas one takes oneself to be a limited entity uh, has a tadatmya sambandha identification with antakarana then with that association with the in, association with the indriyas and then with the indriyas with the karmendriyas also and the body mind sense complex thereby thereby a person an individual jivatma not atma that atma goes away the, he remains as a jiva who thinks that i am this body mind sense complex an individualized jivatma an individualized person and matra sparsha is what this when this indriyas come in contact with vishayas then this they bring along something some emotions in the mind what are these sukha dukha ityad shitoshna sukha dukha daha this is an upapada tatpurusha uh, shitoshna is a dvandva sukha dukha is also dvandva then shitoshna and sukha dukha uh, is also another set of dvandva so you can make in one itself you can make all four and these are indicative of everything and dadati iti shitoshna sukha dukha ख दुखान शीतोष्ण सुख दुखान ददाती ददति ददति इन प्लूरल ददति ददति मात्रा स्पर्शा शीतोष्ण सुख दुख दुखान ददाती ददति ददति इन प्लूरल इट बी ददति सो दिस इज एन उपपद तत्पुरुष सो वी आर ऑलरेडी अक्रॉस टाइम आई जस्ट फिनिश दिस वर्ष सो उपपद तत्पुरुष दीज मात्रा स्पर्श दिस contact with the indriyas bring about the shitoshna or sukha dukha so actually with uh, uh, vishayas actually with vishayas matra the association with what matra the indriyas are in contact with uh, subtle uh, pancha mahabhutas so they come in contact with gross also but then what is actually being contacted actually cognition is of the subtle things so subtle things are cognized and they they bring about they uh, they bestow or they bring about and generate what do they generate shitoshna sukha dukha all these are generated due to this contact and that is not nitya otherwise a person will always feel cold always heat always sukha always dukha no they are all agama pai they agama pai na they keep on going and coming therefore he kaunteya anityah te tan titikshasva so you forbear them please bear them please for, because next moment they are going to change he bharata tan titiksha titikshasva so uh, very simple an anvaya you can make it that he kaunteya ma matra sparshas tu agama painaha anityaha shishna shitoshna sukha dukkha daha bhavanti he bharata tan titikshasva So we'll stop here. Um, shanti, shanti, shanti. Any questions? I was a little tired today, so I was uh, stuttering a little. Yes, Bhavya. Hello. Yes, question, Bhavya. Ha, yes. This Agama Pai na ha. I got a little confused. Uh, what are coming and going here? The objects or the that which is causing? Here there is no uh, object. See, Matra Sparsha. The contact with the objects, uh, they they keep on coming and going, right? Mm -hmm. See. Okay, to make it very clear. See what is matraha? Matra abhi miyante shabda deya iti shrotra dini indriyani. These are indriyas. So sparsha of indriyas. Actually, actually you can uh, not sparsha with indriyas. I think I said with indriyas, but I had already said a shakti tatpurusha. So sparshas of indriyas with what? With vishayas. Vishayas are not nitya, and you don't hold on to uh, objects continuously, right? Sometimes you have hmm. shabda. you have a different set of shabdas keeping every every all of these five uh, objects five types of shabd shabd rasa roop uh, mm -hmm. uh, all these 
सो शब्द स्पर्श रूप रस गंधा सो ऑल दीज फाइव कीप ऑन कमिंग एंड गोइंग बट वॉट इज वॉट इज सेट टू बी कमिंग एंड गोइंग दि स्पर्शा दि कॉन्टैक्ट संयोग शब्दादि संयोग अनिया कॉन्टैक्ट इज नॉट पर्मनंट राइट अदरवाइज इफ यू हैव कॉन्टैक्ट विथ लेट से सम कोल्ड थिंग यू ऑलवेज फील कोल्ड देर फोर शीतोष्ण सुख दुख दे प्रोवाइड दे जनरेट हीट और कोल्ड एज लॉन्ग एज यू हैव कॉन्टैक्ट विथ देम एज सुन एज यू रिमूव दी इंद्रिय इंद्रिय स्पर्श मात्र स्पर्श इंद्रिय स्पर्श वेन यू रिमूव दी इंद्रिया स्पर्शा दि यू स्टॉप कॉग्नाइजिंग देम यू विल नॉट फील यू यू विड्रॉ फ्रॉम देम देन यू विल नॉट फील एनीथिंग इफ वन कैन विड्रॉ सो बेसिकली संयोग इज नॉट nitya it is anitya hmm. okay hmm. anything else no that's yes. so agama pai is all of this is for matra sparsha only matra nam sparsha agama pai na anitya and they are shitoshna sukha dukha da when when they are in contact they will obviously generate something at least we we feel that they are generating so if you touch something which is uh, cold you feel the water is cold i can't take a bath early morning the water is so cold in winter so we'll say what uh, due to contact we'll not say that due to contact there is uh, this cold you feel cold that's it due to this weather i feel cold but what is that weather the air is cool and there is association of matra with them therefore that your as sparsha matra nam sparsha makes this uh, the feeling of shita and that is anitya that is agama pai na it will the weather will change and then so when the weather changes you will not feel cold anymore so therefore anitya and tansti tiksha so bharat yeah okay anand uh you you uh, mentioned the new kind of samasa in the answer of prakti so i not not new new samasa you have seen this uh, it's a see dehantara in karma dhara what do you get generally the same words are used right mm mm-hmm. so you see, let's say karma dhara something you say then uh, it is uh, the uh, the words in the samasa have to be used here dehantara prakti the vigraha vakya i am giving you is what समास वृत्ति समास विग्रह वाक्य विल बी अन्य देहा अन्य देह देहांतरा अन्य देहा वेर इज दी वर्ड अन्य इन दी इन दी समासा सो देर फोर इट इज अ लिटिल डिफरेंट इट इज इट इट इज इट डज नॉट हैव दी सेम वर्ड्स विच आर देर इन इन दी समासा सो अन्य देह इज अनदर देह so another deha is dehantaram mm-hmm. so dehantara is an, the vigraha vakya is it's a karma dharya because anya anya and deha are in samana dikrana another body body is mm-hmm. another but in the vigraha vakya uh, what you have made in the vigraha vakya that does not go in the samasa therefore it is uh, aswapada vigraha so swapada vigraha nasti aswapada vigraha therefore i said uh, a little different from the usual karma dharya but it is a karma dharya it is a tatpurusha it is not called as uh, karma dharya because it is in samanadi karanyam and it is uh, talking about the same the deha is another another deha is called as dehantara uh, and therefore i said it's uh, uh, it must be mayur vamsaka okay mayur vamsaka is just a name mayur vamsaka itself is a samasa so uh, which has a aswapada vigraha okay anything else haran anything else no that's it okay yes amma did you have a question amma sandeep yeah yeah i had this Uh, because in the last shloka that we did today, there was this yeah. vishaya when you came to matra sparsha, you said the vishaya something, no? Huh? Vishaya sam yoga. Huh? Yeah, vishaya in the bhashya. Yeah. 
Yeah. So, what is this uh, vishaya actually in this case? When you say vishaya sam yoga. What what is vishaya? No, what is the question? Ah. Yeah. Vishaya or no, any object, right? See, okay, object as in need okay. not be a thing. See, what what okay. is an object really? What do you objectify? Let's say you okay. objectify a pot, ghata. Okay. If you okay. are seeing a ghata, ghata am pashyati okay. chet. If okay. you see the ghata, what are you actually seeing? You are seeing the, you are seeing what can be seen. So you okay. are seeing rupa. You are seeing rupa. Okay. You are seeing color or you are seeing form. So okay. when you see something, what vishay are you seeing? You are seeing rupa. You are not seeing ghata. You are seeing okay. the rupa of the ghata. Okay. Okay. When you touch the ghata, what are you really touching? You are not touching. What you cognize is not the ghata. What your uh, sparshendriya, twagendriya can cognize is what it can cognize sparsha. So okay. therefore, shabda sp- shabda sparsha rupa rasa gandha. These are the objects. Vishayas are these. Okay. Okay, what, what are the vishayas? The uh, Shabdadaya. Shabdadaya are the vishayas. Oh. They are the vishayas. And uh, the Sanyoga is with the, uh, with the Indriyas come in contact with these Shabda, etc. Oh. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so we'll stop here. I'll, uh, I'll just come back to you with the Nimitta. I am a little uh, too tired to think about it. Uh, since it is Tanta, I think it should be uh, Tatpurusha, but uh, Bauri seems to be fitting in my mind. Let me think uh, how to translate it better and how to give better Vigravakya. So I'll see you in the next part. Namaste.